Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Monday, March 12th. And the headlines are uh, going to be uh, snow today. In fact, it's snowing quite heavily here in Breckenridge. We'll show you that in just a moment. But snow and snow showers into Tuesday, anywhere from a trace to possibly as much as two inches. I think most areas will see around or under an inch. But again, some areas, I think, especially across central Michigan into the eastern part of the area, you can see up to two inches of snow. And then for later on this week, looks like we'll delay the uh, warm-up until the weekend, but we'll see mainly 30s during the week, maybe 40 as we get towards Friday. And then I think solidly into the 40s to low 50s over the weekend, so that'll feel quite nice and should melt any snow we got. Looks like a lot of sunshine, though, for uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, despite the cool temperatures, so that'll still make it feel quite nice out there. And you can see the snow falling here within the last half an hour. That was around 7 o'clock this morning. It uh, came out of no, well, not out of no place, but it went from not snowing to snowing pretty heavily in about five minutes and already beginning to whiten up some of the drive just a little bit here. And if we look at uh, a picture from a couple of days ago from a person sent it, this in from Wheeler, you can see a uh, pretty owl sitting on the uh, Olive and Ransom Road signs just uh, down from my office here. If we look at the uh, Sunday wrap up yesterday, we had a high of 37, a low of 21 with 100th of inch precipitation. And this morning, a trace of snow. We'll update that here later on. Uh, again, normal high is 41 now. Our normal low is 23, so we're beginning to uh, inch up a little bit. So far for March, uh, we've been quite cold, 4.2 degrees below normal per day. So a very cold uh, start so far to the month of March. And you can see the forecast calls for that snow here today. Again, uh, overall, a fairly late pattern, although a pretty good burst of snow right now. Temperatures this morning mainly in the uh, 20s across much of the area, but only in the teens where there probably are some still some uh, clear skies hanging across the uh, thumb area. And we seem to have some sort of an issue with the Nuevo Station. We'll get to check that out here later on today. And again, uh, light snow will fall much of the day off and on. And you can see that area of snow on radar dropping down into the mid-Michigan area here as of about 6.37 o'clock this morning. That'll continue to move off to the east-southeast. And again, I think the best chances for accumulating snow will be around the center part of the state to the east where the snow should last the longest. And if we look at the weather map this morning, cold front dropping down through the area. And again, that'll hang around for today into tomorrow. And that'll bring a light snow pattern today that will transition into a northwest to north lake effect snow. So I would suspect places like Huron County and over in portions of uh, southwest Ontario, maybe towards London or to the northwest of London, you can see some pretty good uh, snow showers here over the next 36 hours. As far as the overall precipitation here, over the next seven days, not really a whole lot, but you can see especially a little bit more in the way of lake effect coming down Lake Michigan, over here across Lake Huron into the London area, and then again downwind of the Great Lakes of uh, Erie and Ontario. More significant lake effect snows there. And then I think we'll see a, a little bit wetter system move in early next week. That'd be our next good chance of precipitation after we get past today and tomorrow's snow showers. As far as the amount of snow, again, uh, much of northern lower Michigan and the UP, anywhere from about two to five inches of snow. And again, some isolated two or three inch amounts across uh, parts, portions of the MAC area and over in towards the uh, southwest Ontario area as well. As far as the extended outlook, I don't like the weekend extended outlooks. They're completely automatically uh, generated. But you can see in the six to 10 day outlook, it calls for the trough all west, warmer temperatures across the east with above normal precipitation. And it also shows that it will cool down again and stay moist so we could see more snow in the forecast here. So no big, big warm-ups as it appears. There's certainly nothing that's going to hang around for a while uh, other than maybe 30s, 40s, and 50s. Looks like it'll dominate the pattern here over the next couple of weeks. As far as the forecast goes today, highs in the mid to upper 30s with that snow. Again, we could see a trace of two inches in the areas, and that would include what gets uh, falls for tomorrow with highs coolest day of the week only in the low 30s and then we'll slowly warm up in the mid to the upper 30s for the rest of the week with plenty of sunshine. I think with that sunshine we may outperform the models as far as high temperatures especially for Thursday and Friday. I think there is actually a chance we could see temperatures uh, maybe three or four degrees warmer than I've got forecasted here so don't be surprised if it is a little warmer than this and again our next weather maker really doesn't come in until maybe Sunday night but more likely early next week as it looks right now. As far as weather watch, not a whole lot going out there to the central UP along the Lake Superior Shore with that lake effect. Uh, snow advisories there. Would not be shocked to see some, uh, maybe some issued for uh, the southern part of Lake Michigan into southwest uh, lower Michigan and perhaps over in the Thumb area. 
and across portions of southwest Ontario. We'd not be surprised to see some sort of a snow advisory in those locations as we go through the next day and a half. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a great day, a great work week, and 73s to all.